A grocery store cashier spent 0.25 minutes in average waiting for a customer to arrive. We're going to assume that this waiting time follows the exponential distribution. And with that information, we, are, we want to answer the following questions. What is the probability that, the, that he waits more than half a minute for the next customer? So if we draw the probability density function of the exponential function of the exponential distribution will be like this. So we'll have the mean in some moments, and here they told me that the mean is 0 0.25 minutes. So the mean will be here. And after the mean, for sure there will be a lot of possible values. And will be a the, the, the range of values will be very long because there is no limit here. Why, if the average is 0 0.25, why not? It's possible. Why could not be possible that, that the waiting time could be one minute? Why not? So maybe there will be even some customer that that arrive after 1.1 minute or one point or even two minutes. There is no reason to tell that this is impossible. Obviously, the farther we go from the mean, the smallest will be the probability. So remember that below this probability density function, when you make the histogram, the, his the rectangle of the histograms will be below this, this curve. So this curve is just actually is, is formed by join together all the roof of the rectangles in the distribution. So, because there are a lot of values after the, the mean, but the, the, the range of value before the mean is not so long because they cannot take a, a, a negative number. For that reason, obviously this is a, a waiting time. The waiting time cannot be negative. So for that reason, the rectangles be, be, below the mean will be taller. Yeah? So there is a few values, but they need to compensate the, the, the big range that is at the other side. Okay, so that means that the, that the distribution has this form. And I'm going to tell you now that the, the interception is related to the mean. I'm going to tell you how. But before, what was the question? The question is what is the probability that he waits more than half a minute for the next customer? So we need to find this area, more than half a minute. This is 0 0.5 minutes, so half a minute. What is this area? This is the question, actually. So it's a good idea to know, or will be good to know, what is the function that they have the exponential distribution. And the, the probability density function is given by this formula. f of x equal lambda e minus lambda x. And this is the parameter in the exponential distribution. This e is the well-known uh, base of the natural logarithm. So this is 2.71, 82, 81, 8, etc. And we also know that the lambda, it will be 1 over the mean. This mean in time, yeah? the, the 0 0.25 minute in average, this is the mean. This lambda, if you notice, is the same Poisson parameter. So there will be the number of the number of 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 counting in a minute. For example, here this is one over zero point twenty five. That will be one over zero point twenty five. Will be four. If the average is 0 0.25 minutes, yeah, the time is 0 0.25 minutes, so we can say that in average there are four customers per minute. So this lambda is the same Poisson parameter. So this lambda will be the parameter also here for the exponential distribution. And this lambda will be in counting per minute. In this case, will be customers per minute. So it will be a customer per unit of time. Yeah, in this case, the unit of time that we're using is minute. Okay, so will be 
lambda equal 1 over, over 0 0.25, that will be 4. Okay, but what is the formula? This is the formula for computing the probability. This is the formula of the density function. This is the formula for making this graph. Yeah? But the formula for computing the probability that x take a value greater than t will be this e minus lambda t. So the formula for finding this will be e minus lambda t. The formula for, for finding the probability, the probability that x take a value greater than a value, whatever value of the time t. So for example, here t 0 0.5, the probability that the random variable take a value greater than 0 0.5 can be achieved using this formula. Yeah? So this t will be the 0 0.5. And this lambda will be the, the parameter that we found here. Okay, so in our example will be lambda equal 1 over 0 0.25 equal 4. So now we have a, a number here for lambda. And then we can compute the probability that the random variable take the value greater or equal than 0 0.5. And this is then the value for t. So we just make a substitution it will be e to the power minus 4 times 0 0.5 and that gives you the 0 0.1353 okay how can you do this in Excel for example so in Excel if you want to do that you need to use Remember that the, the, the cumulative probability is the area B below the, the, the value that I give you. So this is the opposite of the cumulative uh, probability. The cumulative probability will be the, the probability that X take a value lower than 0 0.5. In this case, will be the, the, the area that we are looking for or the probability that we are looking for will be 1 minus the cumulative. So it will be 1 minus the cumulative probability. And this is the cumulative probability for the exponential distribution in Excel. So the parameters that you are going to use, the arguments that you are going to use in, the, in, the, in, this, in this distribution will be the value of x that for us will be 0 0.5 so this is the, the value that of interest for the variable the variable time in this case the value of interest is 0 0.5 yes and this lambda is you need to compute first the lambda the lambda is a 4 and this one is just to tell Excel that this is a cumulative problem so the cumulative problem will be all this yeah so if, if, if for example in Excel you need to find these numbers the only that you need to do is just press this without the, this one minus. Okay, so just make a substitution in Excel. It will be one minus exponential in Excel. Don't forget to type the equal signs at the beginning. Yeah? And then you press enter and the answer is 0 0.1353. This solves the problem we have. But what are the formulas that we have in general? So in general, so this will be the probability density function. This number, and if we make the graph, and, and with this lambda is actually the same, is the same parameter of the Poisson distribution, um, and the mean for the for for this, uh, this for this random variable will be actually one divided by the parameters. So in this case, because I'm writing the parameters, is 1 divided by the mean. This mean is the mean of the time, in this case, 0 0.25 minutes. So this is actually the mean of the random variable of the time between customers. Yeah? Okay, so now, what is the form of this distribution? It will be like this. So it will it's going down is asymptotic to the x-axis and the mean will be in some part of this. Yeah? So there is 
for sure one condition in the interception of the y-axis. Because if you see the formula of the probability density function, if you, put, if, if you substitute here x by 0, if this value of x is 0, then this will be e to the power 0, and then the e to the power 0 is 1, so fx will be equal lambda. So f of 0 will be equal lambda. So the intersection here is always lambda. Let's type this here, lambda. So for sure, so for that reason in the previous problem there was a 4 here in the interception. Okay, what other formulas we have? We have the, we, we learned from the previous problem that the probability that x is greater or equal than t, whatever value, will be just taking from the, take the formula from the, from the pro probability density function, but without the, the initial lambda. So it will be e to the power negative lambda t. But this is obviously no the cumulative because this is more or equal than t. So what the cumulative probability is this area, yeah? the area below t. So if the question is this, but this area that I have found so far, or I have spoke about so far, is the area that is after t, but before t, the area will be 1 minus this. So for that reason, we have also the, a formula for the probability, the cumulative probability function. Yeah? It will be 1 minus e to the power to the power negative lambda t. So now we have this, and there is also a formula for the mean and for the standard deviation. The formula for the mean is easy to get it from here. Yeah, mu will be equal 1 over lambda, so we have a formula for the mean, mu equal, for mu equal 1 over lambda. And there is a formula for the variance. It will be 1 over lambda squared. So the variance will be 1 over lambda squared. That means that we have a formula also for the standard deviation, just getting the square root of this. And we have, again, another distribution whose mean is equal to the standard, to the standard deviation. Yeah? So that means that, that, the, that, that we have the formula that we need for solving any problem. So we have the cumulative, we have the case, the opposite of the cumulative, that is this, we have the mean and we have the variance. Um, of course, for that reason, we have the standard deviation. So that concludes my explanation of this introduction to the exponential distribution. What we need to learn later. Of course, we need to learn more problems, how to solve more problems. There will be videos for that. And also, there will be videos for getting or for proving that all these formulas are correct. But that will be in other videos. Thank you.